Welcome to iClicker. In this video, we'll provide a quick 5-minute overview of iClicker Cloud with all the information you'll need to start pulling students in your classes. Before coming to this step, you'll need to have already downloaded the iClicker Cloud desktop software from iClicker.com downloads, created your account, and set up your course. Then you're ready to start creating the questions you'd like to ask in class and adding them to your lecture slides. This couldn't be easier as there's no need to preload questions and answers into iClicker. As you present your lecture and come upon polling questions within your presentation, iClicker Cloud will take a picture of whatever's on your screen as you start each pool. iClicker Cloud floats over whatever software or content you like using, so you're free to use whatever lecture tools you're already working with. In this example, we'll use PowerPoint. Simply add a new slide to your lecture presentation whenever you want to ask a question. Type out the question you'd like to ask. In this video, we'll focus on our most popular question type, multiple choice. So we'll also include up to five answers, labeled A through E, for each question we add. In addition to multiple choice, we also have short answer, numeric, target, and multiple answer questions. When you're ready to start class, begin by logging into the iClicker Cloud desktop software. Start your iClicker class by clicking Start Class, and then open up your presentation software. We can see that the iClicker toolbar floats over our PowerPoint presentation even when we enter full screen mode. Now you're ready to pull students. When you get to the first question in your lecture, click on the polling icon on your iClicker toolbar. Next, select the question type. Please note, multiple choice is always set as the default option. Then click the play button. As you can see from the student view, students are able to see a screenshot of everything on your screen, so it's a good idea to have your presentation in full screen mode. Keep in mind that since your answer options are not entered into iClicker, students will always see the A through E choices on their smartphones, tablets, or laptops. They will refer to your presentation for the appropriate answer options. Your students respond simply by selecting the answer they think is correct. While a pool is open, students can select and even change their answer as many times as they'd like to. Click the red stop button to end the pool. Now you can click on results to display and grade the responses. You can grade the results by clicking a response to toggle it to correct, choosing as many correct responses as you'd like. If you chose a wrong response, you can deselect it by clicking on the response again, or deselect all responses to leave the question ungraded. It's your call. Remember, you can also view and grade results after class on the instructor website. As you can see from the student view, students will no longer be able to respond or change their answers once you end a pool, but they will be able to see the results in their student apps. It's really as simple as that. Continue to run pools as you arrive at polling questions throughout your presentation. You can even ask questions on the fly without a written question or skip any questions that you don't have time to ask. It's totally up to you. When you've reached the end of your lecture, end the iClicker class by clicking the back button and then the red X. After an iClicker class session, you can see the results and students' answers by logging into your course on the iClicker website. Click Sign In, then Instructor. Sign in with the same username and password that you use for the downloaded software. Choose the course you'd like to review. And then click into the pool from your class history. You can click on any question to view the class results or grade any that you didn't get to during class by clicking on each correct answer. Thanks for watching, and please visit iClicker.com support to learn more about using iClicker Cloud.